welcome to Clash of the Dice. In this episode, it's just me, and I'll be doing a solo game, solitaire game of Tiny Epic Galaxies. Right, so we're set up for a solo game of Tiny Epic Galaxies. I will be the yellow player, the red player is the AI, the artificial intelligence, it's the game, effectively, and it is the beginner level, the beginner rogue galaxy of Artemis. The idea of the game is to colonise these planet cards, and you colonise a planet by sending one of your rocket ships into orbit and progressing the rocket ship to the end of the track. When it reaches the end of the track, you get colonised that card, you get added to your own pile, and you achieve the number of victory points. The first player to 21 victory points wins. As you go through the game, you can upgrade your, um, your empire along the Empire track. As I progress through the Empire track I will uh, release additional rockets to be added to my fleet, I will get extra dice to use and I will accrue more victory points. To upgrade your Empire you have to use these resources. You've got energy and culture. You start with two energy and one culture. And the cost to upgrade to the next level is whatever the level is, so to upgrade from level 1 to level 2 is 2 resources, you have to use one or the other, so you have to use either energy or culture, you can't use a mixture of both, although there is a card that allows you to do that if you catch that card or if you land a rocket ship on the planet. The opposing player, the, uh, the, the AI Galaxy, starts with four rocket ships, no energy and no culture. It gets to progress along its empire track as well. If it reaches the end of the empire track, I automatically lose. So if he gets 21 points, I automatically lose. If I get 21 points, it automatically loses. So there's one way for me to win, two ways for it to win. Uh, as with me, as he progresses through the levels, he gets extra dice and he gets extra victory points. At the start of each turn, we'll be rolling dice. I get to roll all of mine in one go, the AI player rolls one die at a time and depending on what the result of the die is, dictates what actions we can do. So that's the really basics of it, so we'll get stuck into the game and hopefully everything will be nice and clear as we go through the game. So as the human player I get to go first, I start with four dice and I roll all of those at the same time. And we have got an energy die, we have got a colony die, we have got a diplomacy die, and we've got an economy die. So, what I want to do is to use the uh, energy die. So, when to use an energy die, I place it into the activation day on this first space, and that allows me to generate more energy for every rocket that I have on an energy space. So I've got two rockets on an energy space so I can generate two energy. I'm then going to use this colony die to upgrade my empire. You, It's not enough to just have the resources, you need to have a colony die as well. So I can upgrade from level 1 to level 2. As I said, that will cost me two resources, either culture or energy. I haven't got enough culture so I'm going to have to use energy. So that will cost me two energy and I'm now on level 2. So that has given me one victory point and on my next turn I can use five dice, I don't get to use the extra dice straight away and I'm still on two rocket ships. So, diplomacy and economy. If I had a rocket ship in this track here or this track here I could advance them one space for each one of these symbols that I have so I could advance a rocket ship one space along an economy track for each one of these I use or a diplomacy track for each one of these I use I don't have any rocket ships in orbit so I can't use either of those two dice I can re-roll these two dice for free and I can do that once per turn a free re-roll per turn any further re-rolls require me to spend an energy and I can re-roll as many unused dice as I like um, at the cost of one energy per re-roll. So I've come up with a launcher rocket. So I'm going to launch one of my rockets, that allows me to move a rocket ship and I can either land on a planet by placing it on end like that, actually on the planet, that allows me to use the special action on the card. 
Uh, only I can do that. The opposing player, the AI, cannot land on a planet. It can only go into orbit. By going into orbit, instead of landing on the planet like that, you place the counter on its side, onto this track, and then you can progress it around to the end of the track if you use the, the correct dice results to do so. When you get to the end, you have colonised that planet and you take possession of it and we replace the card. So I'm going to go into orbit on this planet here. So that's that die. Finally, we've got a culture die, and just like we did with the energy, I can generate one culture for every rocket that I have on a culture space. So I can generate culture by using these cards. The opposing player, the rogue galaxy, can generate culture if it has rocket ships on its home base. I can't. I can only generate energy. He can generate either energy or culture. So I've got one rocket ship on a culture space so I can generate one culture. And that is the end of my turn. So moving on to Artemis. With the rogue galaxy I roll one die at a time and add it to the activation track. So we start with a diplomacy die. He can't use that so that's good because he hasn't got a rocket on a diplomacy track yet. So that is a wasted die as far as he's concerned, which is perfect for me. So go on to die number two. That is a colony which for the rogue galaxy is an attack. And the attack for the level that he's on means I lose an energy. So that's an energy gone. Die number three. is an advanced economy. Now, what we can do now is if I wanted to copy that die, if I wanted to advance my rocket one space further around, I could spend a culture and follow that, which is what I'm going to do. I'm going to spend a culture so I can then copy this dice and I can move one space around. Now, because he hasn't been able to use that die, but I have followed it, I get to re-roll it. We don't re-roll that one because I didn't copy it, but this one I am copying, so I now have to re-roll this just once. And it has come up as a diplomacy. So that's fine for me. Again, he still can't use it. I can only copy a die once though. So one culture, I can copy one die, and that's it. I can't copy it again. If the next die is going to be a uh, another economy, I could copy that. But we'll wait and see what it is. No, it's another diplomacy, which you can't use. And then finally, die number five is a launcher rocket. So, he can now launch a rocket. He always has to go into orbit on the leftmost planet that he doesn't currently have a rocket in orbit of. So, right now, this is a leftmost planet. He hasn't got a rocket there, so he goes into orbit. If he was to then roll another launcher rocket, he would have to go onto this track here, which is the leftmost one without a rocket on it, and then this one, and then this one, and work his way along. But again, that'll become clearer as we go along. Now I could now spend another culture and copy the launch a rocket die, which I will do, and we'll launch a rocket and we'll go into orbit around this card, but he doesn't now get to re-roll that because he could use it, and did use it. So that is now the end of the AI player's turn, and it's my next turn. So I get to roll five dice this turn, because I upgraded last turn. And I have got two culture. I've got one economy, one diplomacy, and one energy. So I'm running kind of low on energy and culture. So to begin with, I'm going to use the economy die to advance one space. When we're playing solo like this, the AI player can never follow an action that I make. It can't spend culture to follow my actions. I can spend culture to follow its actions, but not vice versa. And he hasn't got any culture to spend anyway. So, I think I will generate some culture. So I've got one rocket on a culture space, so I'll generate one culture from that. I will generate another culture, because as you've seen, it's handy to be able to move on the opposing player's turn and then I will 
gain an energy as well. So I'll gain one energy because I've got one rocket on an energy space. So I've now got two energy and two culture. I can't use this one, I get a free reroll, so I'm going to reroll this one now. And I've got another launcher rocket. Now what I could do is move one of these rockets onto another planet, either in orbit or on the planet itself. What you can't do is go on the same card from orbit to the planet or the planet to orbit. You have to move to a different card. Um, I don't particularly want to move either of them, so I can either now waste the die or I can spend an energy to re-roll it. And I think I will spend an energy to re-roll. And we've got the same again, another launcher rocket. So I'm going to use my last energy to re-roll. And again, it's a diplomacy. I can't use it, so it's a wasted die, and I've also wasted two energy trying to re-roll it. But there we go. So, next turn for Artemis. Die number one is culture. So it generates one, two, three, four culture. So it's off to a good start on this particular round. Die number two is another culture, so it generates four more culture. Now, he can only have a maximum of six at any one time. When it gets to the top like this, it stays there until the end of the turn, um, and it can't generate any more culture. But at the end of the turn, he gets to have another go with three dice, but not his normal five or six or seven or how many he's got, just three more. So die number three is an energy and he's going to gain three because he's got three rockets on an energy space this one's on a culture space so he gets three energy die number four is a diplomacy can't use it so that's a waste die number five is another diplomacy can't use it so that's the end of his main turn but as i say he gets another go with three dice that gets set to zero and he gets three more dice die number one is an advanced economy so he moves his rocket ship one space round now when I do it I can only move one rocket on one track when he gets one of these dice either economy or diplomacy he gets to move all of his rockets on that type of track fortunately he's only got one at the moment so he's moved his rocket I'm gonna spend uh, a culture to follow that um, action now he has used that so he doesn't get to re-roll that one. Die number two is another one so he moves again so I'm going to spend my last culture to copy that and move to the end of the track. Now I've reached the end of the track so that means I have colonized this planet. This rocket comes home, his rocket goes home, I get this card which gives me three victory points and I can now use colony dice to use this uh, special rule. So we replace that die, uh, that card, and then he progress, progresses to his last die, which is a culture. So he generates four culture for having four rocket ships on a culture space. And that's the end of the turn. So at the end of that turn, I am on four points, and the Artemis galaxy is still on zero. So, so far so good. I get five dice. Ooh, okay, so that's a lot of colonies. We've got an economy and we've got a culture. Right now the culture is no good to us at all and the colonies are no good to us at all. We will use the economy and advance this one one space but the others I think I'm going to re-roll probably all of them except one of the colonies. I'm hoping I'm going to get plenty of energy dice so I can then upgrade again but let's see what we come up with and we've got another colony another culture and another economy so I can use that to go one space and again I can't use either of those so I haven't got any energy so that is the end of my turn that was a pretty fruitless turn really die number one for Artemis is a launcher rocket so goes into orbit on the leftmost planet. Die number two. Advanced economy. I can't follow that. I don't have any culture. Die number three is a culture. So gets 
three culture, so again he's maxed out on culture, so at the end of the turn he gets three more dice. Die number four. Another culture, he can't use it. Die number five. Another culture, he can't use it. Good stuff. So that gets put to zero, and he gets three more dice. Die number one. Advance economy. Die number two. Culture. So he generates three more. Die number three is energy. So that generates four more energy. So he has reached the end of the track with his energy counter. So he has now upgraded his empire. When the energy reaches maximum, it goes down to zero at the end of the turn and he goes up a level. So he's still using five dice, but he's now got one victory point, and if he attacks me, I lose culture instead of energy. Alright, so pretty good turn for him. My turn. Loads of culture, four of them, and an advanced economy. So none of the culture, I can't use any of the culture ones, so we'll use the economy, progress one space, and we'll re-roll these four. And we have got another advanced economy. Uh, we can launch a rocket, which we'll do. And I think we'll just simply send this one into orbit here. This is going to maximise my chances of being able to use dice because I've now got a culture space and I've also, I'm also on a diplomacy track, so these dice can now be used if I roll any. We have got a colony die and we have got culture. So I'll use the culture to generate a culture. I've used my free re-roll, so I can't re-roll again because uh, I have no energy, so that is a waste of die for me. So that's the end of my turn. Die number one for Artemis is an attack. So he's, I've lost that culture that I generated. Die number two is a diplomacy. You can't use it. Die number three is another attack. You can't use it because I've got nothing to steal. Die number four is another diplomacy which you can't use. Die number five is advanced economy. And I can't follow him on that because I've got no culture. So, five dice for me. Two colonies. An advanced economy, a launcher rocket, and a culture. So I'll generate a culture. I'll advance economy on this one. And then the others, I think I'm going to free reroll. So we have another couple of economies and a colony. So I shall use that to advance this one to the end so my rocket ship comes home I get seven points and then uh, we replace that one and I can't use either of these two dice because again I still have no energy so that's the end of my turn but so far I'm doing pretty well I'm on 11 points now as opposed to his one so die number one for Artemis is an attack and again there goes my culture. Die number two is advanced economy. Die number three is culture, so he gains three culture. One, two, three, so he gets three more dice again at the end of the game. End of the turn, rather. Die number four. You can't use it, it's diplomacy. Die number five is another diplomacy. So that's the end of his main turn. He gets three more dice. That gets set to zero. It's an attack which you can't use. Die number two. Another attack which you can't use. Die number three. Advanced economy that he can use. So that goes to the end and he's now captured that planet and he gets five more points putting him on six. Okay. So my turn now. Five dice. We have got a economy, a diplomacy, a launcher rocket, a culture, and an energy. 
Right, let's... Hmm. I think I want to launch a rocket and go into orbit on this planet. I'm then going to use culture, and this time I'll get two culture. Uh, I'll advance diplomacy on this one. I want to get as far ahead on this one as I can because this is the first one he's going to come to. So if I can get a lead on that one now, that's great. I now can't use the energy die because I don't have any rockets on energy spaces and I don't have any rockets on uh, economy spaces. So re-roll these two. So I get two more culture and I get a launcher rocket, which I don't want to use. So I'll tell you what I will do. I will launch a rocket and I'll send this one home. Again, chances to maximise dice on my next turn. So, that's the end of that turn. Die number one for Artemis. It's an attack, so steals a culture. Now that's a shame, because I'm now down to three. Uh, I can't follow the culture die, because that will put me down to two, and I need three to upgrade. Die number two. You can't use it. Die number three. He gets culture, so he'll gain four. Die number four. Culture again, so he gets three more dice at the end of the turn again. Die number five. He's maxed out, so that's it. End of his main turn, three more dice. He gets four energy. Die number two. He's maxed out on culture. Well, no, he hasn't, because that goes down to zero, so he can now get four more culture. If he was to get culture again and get round to there again, because he's already had the extra turn with three dice, he doesn't get that again. He'll just get six culture and he'll go back to zero again. Die number three. <laughs> Talk that up, didn't I? Culture, so it gets up to maximum. He doesn't get another turn with three dice, so that simply goes down to zero. Right. My turn. Couple of cultures, an energy, a economy, and a upgrade. Uh, so I will gain a culture. Uh, I will upgrade my civilization. So I've now freed up another rocket. Still on five dice, but I get an extra victory point. Um, and I'm going to re-roll these three. Yeah. I really need energy, and I'm just not getting them. So, oh, that should have cost me one, two, three culture. Uh, I will use this colony die to use this colony action. Uh, actually, I'll use... No, yeah this colony action to repeat the action on an already activated die so it's going to be that and I'll gain one more culture and then I can't re-roll these two because I've got no energy so that's the end of my turn die number one for Artemis can't use it die number two launch a rocket he can use that and he goes into orbit here uh, I could follow that but I don't think I will at the moment Die number three. It's an attack, so I lose a culture. Die number four. He gains culture. This time he gains, yeah, he still gains four. Die number five. He advances diplomacy. So he's caught up with me on that one. I will follow that action and stay one step ahead of him. So, my turn. Finally, some energies. Um, so, I'll start by getting an energy, and this time I'll get two energy, because I've got two rockets at home. I'll do the same again. One, two. And now I will use this one to upgrade again, which will cost me those four energies. But next turn I get six dice, and I've got another victory point. I'll gain a culture, 
and I will advance diplomacy on this one. So that was a much better turn from my perspective. Die number one for Artemis. He gets to advance uh, diplomacy, and I'm going to copy that with my culture while I've still got it. Die number two. Advances diplomacy again. So he's well and truly hot on my heels. Die number three. Gains culture uh, to the tune of another four, so that's it. He's maxed out again, so three more dice at the end of the turn. Die number four. Ooh, he's caught me up. Die number five. Hope this isn't another diplomacy. No, it's an energy. So he has another three. Oops. Three energy. So he is maxed out on energy as well as culture. So it's the end of the turn. Uh, he upgrades to the next level, that gets set to zero, and he gets three more dice. Die number one. Energy. So, three energy. Die number two. Diplomacy. Die number three. Please don't be another diplomacy. That's no, culture. So, he gets four culture. It's the end of its turn. My turn. Six dice this time. Incidentally, he's also on six dice now as it graded again. And he's on seven points. I'm on 13. Right. Loads of economy. One diplomacy, a rocket, and a colony. So, I am going to use the diplomacy to advance. I'm going to use the colony die to again do this one, repeat the action on an already activated die. So I'm going to repeat this one to advance another space. So I've now colonize that planet just in the nick of time. So they both both rocket ships go home. I get another seven points. And that now puts me on twenty. I need one point to win. And the next card is another Diplomacy. I was hoping for an economy because I could have easily have snuck victory out of the jaws. Well, not jaws of defeat, but yeah, could have easily have grabbed victory in that round then. Uh, I am going to re-roll these three. I'll keep the launcher rocket because I need to launch a rocket. And we have got another launcher rocket and a um, colony, excuse me, and a culture. So, I could still do it, I think. No, not quite. I'm going to launch a rocket and we will go into orbit on this one. And I will then use the colony die to again repeat the action on an already activated die from my colony ability. So we'll again use that. Advance one space. Uh, I will launch a rocket again and I will land on this planet. You can only ever have one in orbit and one landed on the planet. Um, he, In other games you can have multiple players on the same planet but I can only have one on the planet and one in orbit. I can't have two on the same planet or two in orbit of the same planet. So the only reason I've done that is so that I can then maximize on that and gain two culture, hoping that on the AI player's next turn I can spend two, uh, I, can, I can follow him and progress along this track if he gets diplomacy. Let's see, shall we? So he's on six dice as well. Die number one is an attack. And he steals a culture. That's nasty. So I lose one and he gains one. That's what he means by steal. Uh, die number two. Gains culture, so three more dice at the end of the turn. I'm going to follow that because I spend one and I'll gain two. Die number three. Culture again. He can't use it. Now if I follow it, he'll get to re-roll that and possibly come up with something he can use. 
uh, might be a gamble worth taking. So I'll spend one to again gain two, and he re rolls this one, which is a launcher rocket. I can live with that. Die number four. Another launcher rocket. So he then goes into orbit around this planet. Die number five. Culture. Again, I'm going to chance it, spend one to gain two. He gets to re-roll this one because he can't use it, but I followed it. And it's an attack. So, yeah, steals one, and he can't gain it, but there we go. He has to stick with that result. Die number six. Energy. So, he's going to gain three energy, so he's maxed out on energy. So, end of the turn, he goes up a level and he gets three more dice die number one this time if he attacks me he moves my ships back one space one of my ships back one space he gets a diplomacy now he gets to move all of his ships that are on diplomacy tracks I am going to use a culture and follow that and advance this one one space I'm hoping he gets that again die number two it's an economy he can't use it Die number three, another economy that he can't use. So that's the end of his turn, my turn. Six dice, just need one diplomacy and I've won the game. And there we go. We got two diplomacy, an economy, two energy, and a culture. So spend a diplomacy, that goes to there. I get two points, which puts me on 22. So, victory is mine. So, that was Tiny Epic Galaxies, the beginner solo level. Uh, I really enjoy Tiny Epic Galaxies, it's a great little game. Uh, there is an expansion available now, and I haven't got it myself, but from what I've seen of it, it adds a lot of depth to the base game, and I'm looking forward to getting it at some point. If you don't have it, please do try and find a copy, it's a great little game, you'll really enjoy it. Uh, even my dear lady wife enjoys playing it and she has offered to come on the show as a special guest and we can have a game of it uh, so you can see what it's like uh, with two human players rather than me against the game. So you never know, we might be able to get Joshua involved as well. Uh, he may or may not, depending as the, the whim takes him. But uh, thanks for watching. Please continue to like, comment and subscribe and God bless.